Welcome to Mega Top 10s. In this video, we will explore the top 10 largest pterosaurs. So let's begin. Number 10. Santanodactylus Santanodactylus was a pterosaur that had little in common with Santa, save for the fact that they both fly. Peter Vellenhofer estimated a wingspan of 2.9 to 5.7 meters. De Bizonji for Santanodactylus brasiliensis had a wingspan of 6 meters. It lived in the Lower Cretaceous Santana Formation of Barra do Jardim, Brazil. Four species have been named, but today it is doubted that they are part of the same genus. Santanodactylus may have been adapted more for gliding rather than flapping flight. Number 9. Tupuhuera Tupuhuera was a diurnal pterosaur that lived close to the sea and probably hunted fish. The elaborate crest shows evidence of an extensive network of blood vessels. Although possibly for thermoregulation, a more likely scenario is that the blood produced a vivid color display. Study of different specimen has suggested that the crest got larger as the individual grew to indicate reproductive maturity, a common trait among crested pterosaurs. Tupuhuera also habited the Santana Formation and had a wingspan of around 6 meters. Number 8. Tyrannodon The largest specimen of Tyrannodon longicaps from the Niobrara Formation measured 6.25 meters. An even larger specimen is known from the Pierre Shale Formation with a wingspan of 7.25 meters, though this specimen may belong to the species Geostonebergia mesai. Methods used to estimate the mass of large male Tyrannodon specimens have been notoriously unreliable, producing estimates from 20 kilograms to as high as 93 kilograms. The wing shape of Pteranodon suggests that it would have flown rather like a modern-day albatross. Number 7. Mogonopterus Mogonopterus was discovered at the village of Shaozanjazi, near the town of Lamadong. The size of the skull and neck indicates a wingspan of at least 5 meters and probably over 7 meters in the upper range, making Mogonopterus one of the largest known pterosaurs. The skull has a preserved length of about 95 centimeters, and the longest preserved neck vertebra, the fourth, a length of 14.5 centimeters. Mogonopterus probably has the largest skull of any toothed pterosaur and has at least 62 teeth. Number 6. Colobohinchus. Colobohinchus capito is the largest known ornithocarid and the largest toothed pterosaur known. The jaw tip is nearly 10 cm tall and 5.6 cm wide, with teeth up to 1.3 cm in base diameter. The total skull length could have been up to 75 cm, leading to an estimated wingspan of 7 m. Colobohinchus had a keel shaped crest on the front of its jaws though it was broad and thinned from base to top, rather than the uniformly thin crests of its relatives. Unlike its relatives, it had a straight rather than curved front margin, which begins at the tip of the snout. Number 5. Aramborgiania Aramborgiania is a massive pterosaur from the late Cretaceous of Jordan. Frey and Martel in 1998 concluded that the wingspan of Aramborgiania had been 12 to 13 meters, compared with the 10 to 11 meters of Quetzalcoatlus. They claimed that Aramborgiania was thus the largest pterosaur known back then. Later estimates have been more moderate, sometimes as low as 7 meters. Frey and Martel rejected the suggestion that Aramborgiania was identical to Quetzalcoatlus. Number 4. Geostonebergia Geostonebergia was one of the largest pterosaur genera and had a wingspan of up to 7.25 meters. The wingspans of most adults range between 3 and 7 meters. While most specimens are found crushed, enough fossils exist to put together a detailed description of the animal. Geostonebergia is distinguished from Pteranodon mainly by its upright crest. The lower jaw of G. Sternbergi was 1.25 meters long, which is around 4 feet. 
The crests were probably mainly display structures, though they may have had other functions as well. Number 3. Tropiognathus Tropiognathus is a genus of pterosaurs from the late Cretaceous, best known for the species T. mesembrinus. Tropiognathus mesembrinus reached maximum wingspans of up to 8.2 meters. T. mesembrinus bore distinctive convex keeled crests on its snout and underside of the lower jaws. While many Ornithocharids had a small rounded bony crest projecting from the back of the skull, this was particularly large and well-developed in Tropiognathus. Tropiognathus mesembrinus was the subject of the award-winning Walking with Dinosaurs for one episode. Number 2. Quetzalcoatlus Quetzalcoatlus from the late Cretaceous was one of the largest known flying animals to have ever lived. It was a member of the Ajdakidae, a family of advanced toothless pterosaurs with an unusually long stiff neck. Seeing one fly past you must have been an incredible sight. When it was first discovered, scientists estimated a wingspan of up to 21.3 meters. More recently, the wingspan estimate has been reduced to 10.9 meters. Originally, it was assumed it caught fish, until it was discovered that it lived 400 kilometers from any shore. Number 1. Hatsigopteryx Hatsigopteryx is currently the largest pterosaur ever found. Estimates suggest it was the height of a giraffe. Its wingspan was about 10 to 11 meters from wing to wing. Despite that, due to its hollow bones, it only weighed around 200 to 250 kilograms. Due to its monstrous size, scientists believe that it may have been difficult for Hatsigopteryx to get off the ground. It may have needed a run-up to be able to start flying. Unlike other pterosaurs, it was actually a terrestrial apex predator, which hunted small dinosaurs. Thank you for watching Mega Top Tens. We hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.